Hello my friends, how are you doing? Welcome to this first video series for how to use Flipgrid. We have been exploring lots of digital tools with all things happening with remote teaching and remote learning, but even when we get back to normalcy, which, which whatever that means, we don't know, this is a tool that is going to allow you to enhance your teaching and your learning, whether we're remotely or actually in a physical location, and that is Flipgrid. And so this particular video, I just want to do a quick overview of what it is, get you into it by doing an introductory video, and then the, the series of this video is going to show you all the bells and whistles, the tips, the tricks, classroom applications, show and tell examples from other educators, um, and just a whole entire awesome um, opportunity of learning for you to figure out how to use Flipgrid in your own teaching and learning opportunities for kids. And so when we go to start here, what I want you to think about is, is thinking about actually what is Flipgrid. Um, we are on the website right now. If you do just do a, a search for Flipgrid, it's going to take you to this page and and what I like about Flipgrid is that it is a video discussion platform essentially that allows you to post topics, add attachments, add documents, add video, add pictures um, that allow you as the educator to hear and see from students in your class and beyond um, and that's what I really like about it because it's, it's simple it's it's literally a, a scan a two letter ID insert or a quick little login, a big red button to record, a big red button to stop, and then you're done. And you can then go through and edit and modify all that you want. One of the biggest, greatest things about Flipgrid is a the community. There's so much energy and buzz about Flipgrid. Uh, Microsoft has provided this free, so there's no cost, there's no, there's no strings attached. Kids don't even have to have an account to record and participate. Um, and, and what I love about it is the community, the hashtags on Twitter, just the, the, the website itself, the, the disco library, which you're going to find out here very soon, that so many people are sharing and helping um, make this a, a wonderful thing. And so before we get into everything, the basic overview is this. So you're looking actually at, at my particular Flipgrid. And I'm going through and trying to clean this up. I have 53 flip grids I need to kind of clean and sort. But what this allows you to do is you are going to be creating what's called a grid. And so if I'm just going to pull this one up here, a grid, this is for a global project we're doing on the sustainable development goals, exploring how do we come up with solutions for waste and garbage in landfills and beyond. And so what you can do, as just an example, is I have a grid called Problems with Waste. It's the project itself. And then you can see that we have a list of what are called topics. These can be questions. These can be a standard. These can be whatever you want it to do. And these all fit into this bigger grid of waste. And so what happens, as you can see here, I won't click on this. i got to protect the privacy of our students. But this was just an introductory of classes. So it was a video of me saying, hey, introduce yourself. Where are you from? Um, tell me a little bit about your classroom and kids can then respond by posting videos about themselves also in this case we gave a landfill tour and so how Flipgrid essentially works you create a grid it could be for your classroom my wife right now is an algebra teacher so she has an algebra flip grid and then she has topics that she posts underneath for different assessments and things like that and that is essentially the nuts and bolts of Flipgrid it's wonderful, it's simple, it's easy to use, it's easy to teach students and parents and other people how to use. More importantly, as we think about remote teaching and learning, this is gonna give you an opportunity to capture learning. Kids are gonna be able to verbally and visually and even digital inking ways to showcase their learning to you in ways that we have to rethink how we get student impact, input, feedback and that's the beauty of this as well is it's going to allow you to get feedback even within Flipgrid or within the other platforms that you use which we'll discuss in future episodes. So welcome. Welcome to Flipgrid. What it is is an amazing tool. Um, it's going to allow you to just copy and share and paste the links. What you're going to see here in the geeking course that you are taking this on is I'm going to give you two challenges. You don't even have to create an account yet unless you want to. I'm going to have you go to the link. It's going to be linked in here to introduce yourself. But I just want you to come in here and say hello. Introduce yourself. Share a fun fact about yourself. And then I also want you to take this one out. I'm doing a remote fun teaching challenge. And it's right here for you to set off and play the most ultimate air guitar version of your favorite song 
that you can. So we're going to get you involved here right away. What it is, introduce yourself, play some air guitar, and in the next video, step number two, we're actually going to help you create an account and learn how to create your first grid and topic. Welcome, everybody. I can't wait to get started.